All right, YouTube, welcome back to another video. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make sure you're supporting the channel. Today, I wanted to discuss <laughs> getting rid of my iPad, and it now has been replaced with this Z Fold 4. So full disclosure, I did have the iPad Pro 11 inch, and initially I was getting rid of it because I anticipated the new iPads being released, and I did not want to have to purchase another iPad and then uh, risk the current iPad value uh, going down. So I went ahead, got rid of that, thinking that April was going to bring in new iPads, and here we are, we're almost in May now, and still no sign of the newer iPads. Um, but the good thing is I already had the Z Fold 4, and it was a great opportunity to see if this thing could uh, honestly replace my iPad. So a few things before we get into the pros of using the Z Fold 4 versus the iPad. Some of the things that I really enjoyed about the 11-inch iPad Pro was obviously the screen real estate. It was great uh, when we took trips and you know watch movies and things like that on the cruise ship so i really enjoyed it for that uh, note taking uh the speakers were nice and full and loud gaming was really good even though it was uh touch screen gaming i thought the graphics were uh, exceptional with that ipad pro and especially being uh, paired together with the Apple Arcade, which is something that I'm still looking for Android to uh, combat. <laughs> so hopefully that's something in the works for Android phones to have their own kind of arcade situation. But I think the graphics chips um, right now are lacking, but that's a, a whole nother topic. But since that is now gone, and I've only been using the Z Fold 4. It's kind of like my tablet. Um, the speaker situation definitely stands out to me watching YouTube, um, watching movies and things like that. So uh, an advantage of having this Android device is that I can go to different apps and websites and kind of download movies um, more so than I could on the iPad, which was more locked down by iOS. But having this open source Android I can kind of get movies and things that I want. The only downside is the speaker quality isn't as potent as it was on the iPad. So that's one downside. Um, so there, you know, there's obviously some give and take there. But I do have a free line on T-Mobile service. And this is the device right now that's occupying that free line. So now I'm even more mobile with carrying this device around along with my iPhone uh, 15 Pro Max. I carry this Z Fold 4. So when we take trips, like road trips and things like that, you know, I could play music through the car speakers with my iPhone, and then I am free to utilize this device. Obviously, if I'm the passenger, my wife is driving. But I use this device, I can do a lot of different things, social media, you know, I can go in and see if you guys are following yet and you're not. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram as well. Um, I tend to post some things on there. But, you know, even things like shopping, the screen real estate here is really, really good, especially when you remember to turn it um, horizontal mode. So this is probably one of the best advantages here of having a foldable phone because you do get more screen real estate here than you would on your typical candy bar style phone. So I'm able to do my shopping. I can go to Best Buy, and Old Navy, whatever your favorite sites are, um, and you can kind of get the full site there. So no drawbacks there as opposed to the iPad. And actually, I prefer... Um, shopping a little better on this because it's a better one-handed use, um, you know, depending on how often you guys use your device to shop. So um, another thing that I'm missing out on by getting rid of the iPad was the use of the Apple Pencil. But one great thing about Samsung, which it has a leg up on other foldables, is that it does have the S Pen, which to me is a phenomenal companion piece 
And I feel that every foldable needs to have some sort of uh, input for a stylus. So that is why I feel that Samsung is still winning for the moment with the S Pen. So um, unlike the iPad, which you had to kind of use your finger in some instances here, you can kind of use the S Pen for everything to bring up your different menus, to get back home with the swipe. Um, you can use your suite of S Pen functionality here with creating notes. Um, you can select things, you can make GIFs or GIFs or whatever you call it. So there's a lot more, uh, it's more robust when using the S Pen because it's really baked into the device. So that is um, actually an advantage of not having the Apple Pencil, but actually having an S Pen. So another advantage of having this Z Fold 4 over an iPad Pro or even the iPad mini is the actual screen on this device. So this is an OLED panel, which the iPads are rumored to be getting this year at some point. But right now the advantage still lies here. So when you do um, look at your content, you can enjoy it with these fantastic color reproductions here on these screens. And that is definitely an advantage in my opinion of using this device, especially if you're comparing it to like an iPad mini, um, which is almost the same exact screen size. So definitely an advantage there if you're using the Z Fold 4 or 5 if you guys have the newer device already. Um, and one last thing of somewhat of an advantage, I guess, as far as gaming here, you do have your touch controls, but what you also get the option of having is some sort of add-on controller. So right now I've got the backbone that I've been trying out and that's gonna be a whole nother video. Um, but I do have the, the PlayStation backbone version with the USB-C. So I've been using it with both the iPhone and with this device. And that is an advantage of having some physical controls to utilize your gaming. I know that um, the Apple Store now allows emulators, which is great. So, uh, but Android has been allowing emulators for years. So there's a huge advantage there. And you can take advantage of those games, some of your favorite games by using, you know, an external device like this. It doesn't have to be the backbone. They have a lot of other ones. Um, but those are just some of the advantages of having a device like this, a foldable that uh, clearly can replace your iPad or any tablet that you may use. And those are just some of the use cases. You guys hit me up in the comments if you have already replaced your tablet or iPad with a foldable device, or give me some idea of why you wouldn't go this route. So that's it for this one. Until the next one. Grrrr.